and welcome to Getting Into Raw Cooking with Zane. We are going to use the Optimum 400 juicer today to make something other than juice. Now we know that for babies, nutritious, wholesome meals are very important and you never know what you're going to get in a jar. So what I've got in front of me is something that anybody can do at home. I've taken a small bit of purple sweet potato and a small piece of Jap pumpkin or also known as Kemp pumpkin and steamed them for just a few minutes until they're soft and tender. All I need to do now to turn this into baby food or any other combination of lightly steamed vegetables into baby food is to change the plate inside of my Optimum 400 juicer jug. So we're going to use the blank plate for a homogenizing function. We'll take the pieces apart, removing the screw from the center, placing the blank plate instead, lining up the dot on the inside of the blank plate with the dot on the edge of your juicer and then placing the screw back inside. So this is ready for a homogenizing um, function. And then we put the lid back on top and lock everything in place. Ready to go as easily as that. We turn the juicer on using the on switch at the side and then feed through the soft pieces of Vegetable. Now what we've got here, as I said, is pumpkin and sweet potato, but you can use anything at all, green beans, etc. So instead of juice coming out one outlet and waste coming out the other, all of the baby food will come out the outlet where the waste normally does, land safely into the bowl and then you can store that in your fridge or your refrigerator or your freezer. A great way of storing homemade baby food is to use your ice cube tray. Fill each ice cube tray with a small amount of baby food and set it in the freezer. Then you can just defrost one or two when you need a serving. This is a delicious and nutritious meal for your baby. Remember though that babies have lots of taste buds so strong tasting things like broccoli will make them screw up their little noses and probably not enjoy the mix. Softer vegetables, potato, sweet potato, uh, green beans, all of those will work beautifully for a baby food. No need for any additives, any preservatives, salt, pepper or anything else. Just what the baby needs. So if you love this recipe and you'd like some more, remember to like the Fruity TV channel. If you haven't got your Optimum 400 Juicer yet, remember to go down to the description below where you'll find this baby food recipe and you'll find the local Fruity website to you. So fruity.co.uk, fruity.co.nz and fruity.com.au with more coming soon. And you can have a look at the Optimum 400, all of its specs or the Optimum range of blenders and there'll be more great products coming soon. Ciao for now.